Meditation and mindfulness are often promoted as cure-alls for stress and anxiety. However, a growing body of research reveals a hidden danger to these practices. For some, meditation can trigger negative effects, including anxiety, depression, and even psychotic symptoms. These risks, while less publicized, are real and can have a significant impact on practitioners. A 2022 study of regular meditators found that over 10% experienced negative effects lasting a month or more. Anxiety and depression were the most common issues reported. These findings are echoed in a review of 40 years of research on meditation. The review confirmed the potential for adverse effects even in individuals with no history of mental health problems. Worryingly, these negative effects are not always short-lived. Some individuals experience long-lasting symptoms after engaging in meditation. This highlights the need for greater awareness of the potential risks associated with these practices. Despite the growing evidence, many mindfulness resources fail to adequately warn practitioners about these potential downsides. The awareness of potential negative effects from meditation is not new. Ancient Buddhist texts, like the Dharmatrata meditation scripture, document adverse psychological experiences in meditators. These historical accounts suggest that the risks of meditation have been recognized for centuries. In more recent times, researchers have also pointed out the potential dangers. In 1976, psychologist Arnold Lazarus cautioned about the potential for meditation to induce psychiatric problems. Despite these early warnings, the mindfulness movement has often downplayed or ignored the risks associated with meditation. This lack of transparency is concerning as it leaves practitioners vulnerable to experiencing unexpected and potentially debilitating side effects. The widespread promotion of mindfulness without adequate warnings about potential risks raises ethical concerns about the commercialization of these practices. Mindfulness has become a billion dollar industry with apps, courses and retreats marketed as solutions for everything from stress to addiction. This commercialization has led to a focus on the positive aspects of mindfulness. While the potential downsides are often ignored, the commodification of mindfulness raises concerns about the ethics of promoting and profiting from practices that can have adverse effects. The lack of transparency about these risks is particularly troubling, as it suggests a prioritization of profit over the well-being of practitioners. This lack of disclosure is compounded by the fact that many mindfulness instructors lack adequate training in recognizing and addressing adverse effects. Some even advise practitioners experiencing negative effects to simply continue meditating, which can exacerbate the problem. The potential risks associated with meditation underscore the need for greater transparency within the mindfulness movement. Practitioners deserve to be fully informed about both the benefits and the potential downsides of these practices. More research is urgently needed to understand the mechanisms by which meditation can trigger adverse effects and to develop safer practices. This research should be conducted independently of the mindfulness industry to ensure objectivity. The commercialization of mindfulness must be balanced with ethical considerations. Practitioners should be wary of exaggerated claims and seek guidance from qualified professionals. It is crucial to remember that mindfulness is not a one-size-fits-all solution and may not be suitable for everyone.